Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. It's me Suhendri back again with a new video. So in today's video guys, I'm in my kitchen. I'm preparing breakfast and also I'll be spending the whole day with you guys cleaning and doing everything today with you guys. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Today is on a Saturday, my typical Saturday. So I started by preparing breakfast. This is tea which is already ready. I'll just put it in the thermos. Then I'll start by preparing my crepes or in short my pancakes. I used two eggs. I usually don't have any measurements. I just do this my way. Then a glass of milk. Vanilla essence. Sugar and cooking oil. I'll then mix that very well. And then add wheat flour. Actually, guys, I don't prefer using a whisk, I love using a fork. For me, a fork is easier to use. And since I need it thin and well mixed, I'm going to use this. Then preheat my pan. I'll oil my pan for the first grip. I usually use a spoon to spread the grip, I mean the the pancake. Use minimum heat, just keep regulating your heat so that you, do, you don't burn the pancake so much. Now I'm all alone, you know then for the for the second one don't add any oil on the pan keep on regulating your heat when the bottom side is cooked you will see you'll see it start turning brown And that's when you turn your pancake. Now that the crepes will take me some more time, I'll prepare my cooking pot, the one that I use to make my sausages. This is the one. Then place oil so that it can preheat a bit and I'll continue making my crepes together with my sausages. Already my sausages are poked and defrosted so I'll just put them in the oil. Here I'll be multitasking, I'll be cooking the crepes and also checking on the sausages. That's the advantages of having a cooker. For these sausages, we just keep on turning them so that they don't burn. And now the breakfast is ready. I'll serve everybody. But before that, you can top your crepes or pancakes with honey or chocolate chocolate syrup whatever your favorite is i also had some samosas for breakfast so that was the breakfast for the day but before me taking the breakfast i leave the first load washing in the machine and then i'll take breakfast as it continues cleaning 
here we do everything together at the same time after that after i load that i'll go take my breakfast today i took breakfast with my brother my husband was not here no. Yeah, my brother was telling me how happy he is now that he's joining campus. He was so happy. He was feeling so good. Telling me it's his time to feel good. So we were done with the breakfast and now my first load of clothes is clean. I'm just going to rinse them and air them. Every time we say goodbye They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times On how to use this machine, please go and watch my previous video on the review of this machine and also how to use this machine Actually guys, I'm getting so many questions about the machine, the twin tub wash washing machine and guys i try as much as possible to answer your questions i've answered a lot of questions but guys i think i should do a video explaining all your questions and answering them so guys stay tuned for that video if you've not watched my previous video on this machines review i'm going to just leave a link here above here click it and watch the video can't be waiting for you in the morning I'ma leave without giving a warning I'ma leave without giving a, giving a But every time we And now this is my second load which is already rinsed and spinned And as I continue cleaning here I'm going to make a disinfectant The one that I'm going to use to disinfect my machine and also to disinfect my kitchen surfaces so this bottle has some calibration here the ones that i'm going to use to measure the water that i'll put inside here i'll use jig i'll use one bottle cup of of jig but before that i'll read the instructions ensure you always read the instructions of every chemical that you use so here i'm using one bottle cup and then add water I'll fill the bottle with water. So I'll put water using the pipe and I'll measure using the cal calibration. I just wanna be happy every time we say goodbye. They all see that it's a lie. After that, I'll shake well so that it can mix very well. Yeah, you and that's my disinfectant i'll spray as you can see it's spraying i'll just spray so after i finished cleaning i'll just disinfect my my laundry basket as you can see and then i'll wipe it remember this is where you put all your dirty clothes from wherever you come from so it's important for you to disinfect it once i'm done here i'll get in the kitchen and start the cleaning I'll start by the cooker which I had used to make the crepes and the sausages because it had some oil splash. I'm going to use Magni All Purpose to splash on it. And then as it absorbs that, I'll start disinfecting my countertops using the solution that I made, the disinfectant that I made. But every time we say goodbye we all know that it's a lie Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy
By now the mold papa's magni had absorbed all the oil on the cooker so I'll get there and start cleaning the cooker. I'll use a, a kitchen towel. I will wet it with water and then start cleaning it, wiping the excess water and the excess magni. Flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe. I'm getting the water from the tap, that's why I'm disappearing and coming back. We are heroes tonight, we will fly above the sky. We are heroes tonight. is a hack on how you can remove the oil in this space you just have a knife and a kitchen towel then place the knife between the kitchen towel and pass the knife between the space and that's it The most touched place in the kitchen is the cabinet handles so always make sure that you disinfect them. So then I'll disinfect the kitchen floor using jig. I'll just use some jig and a pinch of washing powder. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. Here is the other place that I'm always lazy to clean and disinfect, which is my pantry. But today I'm just going to disinfect the floor because I had cleaned the pantry shelves two days ago. So they are attended, so I'm not going to clean them today. We are heroes Since I used jig to clean the kitchen, uh, there is a jig smell in the kitchen and I want to just eradicate that smell. I'm going to use a small humidifier that I have and leave a good scent in my kitchen. I'm using scented essential oil, That's eucalyptus to be specific. I got this humidifier at only 2000 shilling. I can't remember which shop. Once I remember, I'll put it in the description box. The beauty part of it, it usually changes the colors as you can see. Eh, so guys, by now I'm so tired. I just took the leftovers from yesterday's food. I'm taking rice and fish because eh, manze, let's all salute the stay at home mothers because the stay at home moms with even kids how do you manage this because hey 
I'm so tired. I feel so I don't know how. I feel like not doing anything more, but I still I had decluttered my clothes last night and I want to arrange them. I want to put them in place. Uh, all this clothing of giving them them out to a children's home. I've already gotten one. I'm planning with my friends when we will go. So in case maybe you would want to visit the children's home with me, holla at me in my Instagram. I'm so Henry underscore Gatongo. You can plan this. Go and see these babies. Go and see these children. They are our sisters and brothers. Also when giving, don't give something that you can't put on. Give something that you can put on only that maybe it doesn't fit you or maybe it's been long since you had worn it. Also guys after that I went to the garage guys. It was a tiresome day but I had to do all this at the same day. I usually go to the garage at Garden Estate, Rupees. Uh, here I went for brake checking and also the alignment of my wheels. And guys, that was the last task of the day. I was so tired. I was feeling so worn out. But I thank God I achieved all this. Guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Until the next one guys. Peace and don't forget to take care of yourselves. Bye.